We got some breaking news right now from Pfizer and Meg Terrell joins us with the latest Meg. Well, good morning, Andrew. We are hearing from the vaccine companies how they plan to try to keep up with the coronavirus as these new variants emerge. Pfizer this morning saying that it's starting a study of a booster dose of its vaccine. That would be a third dose that recipients would get six months to a year um, after getting those first two shots to test uh, the safety and immune response that a booster dose can generate, including against the newly emerging variants of concern. They're going to enroll up to 144 people who participated in their phase one study to uh, look at the safety of this, as well as the antibody levels that uh, a booster dose can generate. They say they are also discussing a study with regulators of a variant-specific vaccine, which would be modified to address the B1351 strain, of course, first uh, identified in South Africa, and the one that does look like it could evade uh, vaccines protections. Although Pfizer is saying, as of now, studies indicate they can still provide protection with two doses of their original vaccine. Now, guys, this news comes after last night, Moderna saying a very similar thing, announcing an entirely new strategy for uh, addressing the variants, including testing a third dose, just like Pfizer, of its original vaccine, developing a variant-specific uh, vaccine targeted to that same strain, and also combining its original vaccine with the variant-specific one to test as a booster dose as well. In 30 days, Moderna CEO Stefan Bunsell telling us they developed that new variant-specific vaccine and shipped it to the NIH for clinical studies, which they did Yesterday, guys, that beats the original 42-day uh, record they set for the original vaccine. So both of these companies laying out plans to try to keep up with these variants and indicating they do think this is a virus that's going to stick with us and they want to stay ahead of it and make it into something more like the flu. Guys. So, Meg, in terms of timing, how long do we imagine the, the next set of studies would take? How long would it take to start to manufacture this? I mean, then we get into the supply chain issues. Where are we in terms of if we we're all going to get a third dose, let alone the first or second dose, when are we talking about? Right. So if it's the original vaccine, that makes it a lot more simple. Of course, we are still in a supply constrained place right now. And so it's about figuring out when do you start boosting people if other folks have not even gotten their first uh, initial vaccinations. If it's about needing to update to a new strain, uh, Moderna CEO is saying they think that they could get there you know, by the third quarter in terms of running these studies, uh, looking at uh, the antibody levels generated by the new vaccine and making sure that it checks all of the FDA's boxes before they'd roll that out. And then it's a balancing act of where is this variant circulating? How much do you need to make? And they're bringing on new manufacturing capacity in order to be able to address variants as well. And so it's being able to figure out where these variants are circulating and when you need to pull the trigger on a new, a new version of the vaccine. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.